This is why the Oregon Conference is now telling the Bloom SD Church to stop worshiping on Sundays. If you want to know more details about this story, then watch this video to the end. Now, let's get started. In the SDA church, we believe in a weekly cycle Sabbath that falls on Saturday days. We believe that a Sabbath day is both a day of rest and worship made by God during creation. Genesis chapter 2 verses 2 to 3 says, And on the seventh day, God ended his work which he had done, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had done. Verse 3 says, Then God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because in it he rested from all his work which God had created and made. So friends, as Adventists, we believe that the seventh day is the day of the Lord. It is the day the Lord blessed and hallowed for both rest and worship. And also, we believe that Sunday is not the true Sabbath day. It is the result of man's act of changing God's law. Now, friends, some Christians don't agree at all that the seventh-day Sabbath is still the day of the Lord, even today in this Christian era. So sometimes they get upset and speak against the Sabbath. This is an example, a pastor who spoke against the Sabbath and also against Seventh-day Adventists for keeping the Sabbath. Trying to tell people Jesus is going to come next week, I'm going to ask you to leave because I ain't fooling with your Jehovah's Witness, Seventh-day Adventist, law-abiding nonsense. I ain't messing with it. And let me just go one step further for all these Seventh-day Adventists that watch me for some reason and send me letters. You worshiping the devil because you meet on Sunday. Jesus fulfilled the law. Jesus became my Sabbath. And I'm here to tell you, I worship on the first day of the week because of the glory of the resurrection. I am not under the law of the Sabbath. Jesus said there will come a day. It doesn't matter when and it doesn't matter where, but it matters who you will worship. I'm telling you, Saturday worship as far as the law is concerned, is a demonic doctrine. Shut up and don't come at me with all that nonsense. You got to worship on Saturday because of the law. I'm not under the law, Scipio. I'm under the grace of the resurrected Savior. So his kingdom's going to come, and I don't know when, and I don't know how, and I've changed my theological position on all that pre-trib stuff, okay? And I don't care what you think about that neither. Also, because of Sabbath keeping and some unique doctrines of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, some Christians consider the SDA Church as cult. Day Adventism, how should we as believers view that denomination? Well, even the word denomination is one that raises questions mm -hmm. in the minds of some evangelicals. Should Seventh-day Adventism be considered an, a, a denomination? Historically, it's been regarded as a cult, mm -hmm. though there are some in uh, more recent decades who want to have more of an open attitude towards Adventists. I would say that there's really three big problems with Seventh-day Adventist doctrine, three major reasons why evangelicals should be very concerned and why they shouldn't just embrace Adventism as a denomination. It's, mm -hmm. it's not a denomination. It's something that really is outside of evangelical biblical Christianity. But friends, no matter how people view the Sabbath or no matter how people view the Seventh-day Adventist church, there are so many Bible proofs or there are so many verses in the Bible that show that the seventh day is the day of the Lord. That show that the Sabbath day is Saturday and not Sunday or any other day. So in general, Adventists don't believe in Sunday rest and worship because it cannot be found in the Bible. However, there is one SDA church in Portland that began worshiping on Sunday instead of Saturday, and they received approval from the conference. It sounds problematic, right? Wait a minute and let me give you more details. According to the Oregon Conference website, the Bloom Church plant began as an Adventist fellowship in late 2019 with public Sabbath worship services beginning in 2020 as part of the Oregon Conference initiative to plant more new churches across the territory. Does Bloom hold to and teach the Seventh-day Sabbath? Yes, Bloom believes, teaches, and keeps the Biblical Seventh-day Sabbath. 
as many recent Adventist churches and ministries reaching out to young adults have done, they held their public Sabbath worship services in the evening rather than in the morning. They taught and practiced biblical Sabbath keeping during the Sabbath hours with small groups connecting to study, fellowship together, engage in serving their community, and experience God in nature. The article continues, Now, why does Bloom currently worship on Sunday? The conference answered, From the start, church leaders have seen Bloom as an evangelistic process drawing on generations of experience in witnessing and evangelism to carefully outline Adventist belief and practice in a systematic way that leads people from wherever they are toward a more complete understanding of the gospel and Adventist biblical beliefs. Bloom's public worship gatherings have always been understood as one of their primary public outreach activities. As such, with their target audience in mind, they came to realize that 1. After a grinding work week, urban and church young adults desired a relaxed start to the weekend, making Sabbath morning worship an unappealing first contact with Bloom. Reason number 2. Urban and church families with children expressed difficulty attending Sabbath evening services, sharing that children's bedtime routines drive their schedule. So friends, because of these two reasons, the Oregon Conference approved the Bloom SDA Church to worship on Sundays instead of Saturdays. Um, I don't know, don't you think this will open the way for other SDA churches to also follow the footstep of the Bloom SDA Church? Um, and also, what would other Sunday churches think of this Bloom Church when they see them worshipping on Sundays? Now, ever since the Bloom Church started worshipping on Sundays, the Oregon Conference and the Bloom SDA Church have received many criticisms from many Adventists around the world. Now friends, there is new update that the Oregon Conference has ordered the Bloom SDA Church to stop worshipping on Sundays, but there is no exact details on why the conference has ordered the Sunday Keeping SDA Church to stop worshipping on Sundays. And friends, you know what? According to the website of the Oregon Conference, it looks like it's because of the criticism the conference is receiving from many Adventists around the world that has caused them to tell the Bloom SDA Church to stop worshipping on Sundays. But friends, I think what the conference has done is better because it could open the way for other SDA churches to give reasons to worship on Sundays, which is contrary to what the Seventh-day Adventist Church believes and teaches. So friends, this is all that I had for you today. For more stories in and outside of the SDA Church, be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any video we publish. Thank you for watching. My name is Lawrence and see you next time with more stories.